What's going on guys? Killer6 back with a legendary item guide on the new DLC4 exclusive item, the Major Kong. In this video, I'll cover how to get it, break down how the weapon works, and cover some of the other things that you should be on the lookout for with this weapon. So let's get right into it. To get this rocket launcher, you will need the fourth DLC in Borderlands 3 called Psycho Creek and the Fantastic Fuster Cluck. The Major Kong drops only from Psycho Reaver on the map Vault Hala. There is no Mayhem level requirement to get this gun. You can get it at level 13 or all the way up to Mayhem 10, level 65, or any level in between. Again, this drop is only from the Psycho Reaver's loot pool. You cannot get it anywhere else in this DLC. So let's head over there and get this thing to drop. To get to the Psycho Reaver, you will need to go to the end of the map, Vault Hala. Once you get to this point on the map, you'll trigger the save station and all subsequent runs of this farm will start from right here after saving and quitting. Psycho Reaver is a pretty tough fight, but his head is his weak spot and being flesh, he takes more damage from incendiary weapons. The best tactic I've discovered in this fight is to utilize the tops of these cells when you first drop in. Staying on top of them will keep him distracted as he tries to bust them up allowing you to shoot him in the face and then jump to the next cell. If you do fall off the cells, you will be subject to a shock attack, which can absolutely just destroy you. Once he gets down to half health, he moves to the edge of the map and becomes a giant version of himself. His head is still his main critical spot at that phase, and he will do his best to keep you from hitting it by moving his arms in front of them fairly often. While this is all happening, he will occasionally hit you with a slam attack and summon in psychos riding on bullets to deal with. And a word of warning about this fight, if you use the Galaxy Brain Mayhem modifier, his head will block you from picking up your loot and also keep you from being able to access the treasure room that follows the fight. So be sure to reroll your modifiers ahead of time. Now I got a Major Kong on my 12th run of the Psycho Reaver, but it did take me another 20 plus runs to get another one. So just be aware that this farm can take some time. The stats on the one that I got here at Mayhem 10 level 65 are 128,276 damage times two, 48% accuracy, 72% hand repair time aka reload time is very slow at six seconds flat fire rate is 1.39 shots per second and the shots to break aka mag size is 21 on the one that i have here the variant has the damned prefix so it consumes three ammo per shot while delivering two projectiles per shot but you can get one with no multiplier that only consumes one ammo per shot as well. The Major Kong can spawn in any element and it can also spawn as a non-elemental version. Major Kong is a legendary rocket launcher manufactured by COV and the red text reads, Hi there, which is a reference to Stanley Kubrick's film, Dr. Strangelove. Hi there appears on the side of the bomb that Major Kong rides all the way to the ground in this scene. The Kong special ability is that you can charge it to shoot out a powerful rocket that can stick to surfaces or enemies and then explode and send out additional rockets to do more damage. Now this can be used to one shot bosses but a word of warning on that. Hitting one shots with this thing will leave you exposed to enemies. Using this launcher in general is pretty dangerous, but yes, it technically can one-shot bosses. But more often than not, this is what you're actually going to experience. In the time that it takes to set this thing up, I can usually kill the same bosses with my normal favorite gear and be less likely to die in the process. This makes it a hard weapon for any Vault Hunter to get good use out of consistently, but Fadeaway Flak with all of their gun damage perks and splash damage mows will get this thing to work fairly well, but at the end of the day, this launcher will mostly just hit an enemy for a chunk and then spin around them with the extra projectiles, so I'd much rather use a back burner or plague bearer myself. In terms of annoyments to hunt for in this one, obviously with launchers being so strong, most of the time a 300% damage on enemies over 90% health is ideal, but even with that annoyment, I couldn't get this launcher to feel worthwhile on a regular basis. So ultimately, while this launcher with a very good good roll can do some decent damage most people are going to find it disappointing and like i said earlier psycho reaver is a tricky fight unless you have exceptional gear to begin with and if you do then getting this drop is going to be a bit of a letdown hope this guide to the major kong was helpful to you if it was then please take a second to hit that like button hit subscribe and tap the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i post a new video you can click on one of the cards at the end of this video to see more legendary item guides as well thank you guys for watching take care